holding a perfect record of 14 victories, no defeats, including 12 wins inside the scheduled distance. He's the current IBO international champion, hailing from Arendal, Norway. Please welcome King Kai Robin Hopna. Great knockout percentage. Let's see if he can keep it going here against Rukarashvili. Quick instructions from the referee. A touch of gloves, and this one will be underway. A little bit longer than the last fight with the instructions. Yeah, I think what's going to happen in this fight here is that avanov has got a good knockout record. He's going to be trying to go for Brook early. We will see Rukarashvili, the shorter of the two, as you can clearly see. He's got the blue trunks. Havna there in the black trunks. Peekaboo style. He's, so, he's trying to walk in with a peekaboo style, but this guy Havna has a good jab. I think he's going to throw a jab right hand. Now, this is a contrast in styles here. You know, Havna has the reach, wants to keep Lukashvili at the end of that jab. Lukashvili's just got to find a way to get inside. Lukashvili needs to get inside. That's the only way he's going to do anything. JD, but can he do it without getting KO? This guy's got 12 knockouts out of 14 wins. Well, he's going to get hit. You know, like if you go swimming, you're going to get wet. And if you're fighting, you're going to get hit. And hopefully that he doesn't get hit right on the button, because if he does, good night out of here. He's going to have to protect that chin. No doubt about it. This is, uh, this is kind of a, not really a strong test for Havna, but a different style that he might not normally see. Well, it's good for him to get a chance to see different styles. You know, you look at one style all the time, and then somebody gets in there with something different, throws you off. And you can see Lukashvili when he's got his arms tucked in and his gloves up, not a lot of target space there. Yeah, that's why he's got to go to the body first. He needs to bring, bring those hands down. He needs to go to the body. And it's no secret for Havna. He wants to get the jab going. Everything will come off the jab. The hands will come down for Lukashvili and maybe set out a power shot for Havna. Good right hand. Lukashvili is going to have to find a way to get some of Havna's respect here early. He might be doing that here so far. Well, he's trying to, but it's going to be a tough, difficult road for him to climb. How much behind those jabs of Havna? He's got to stop falling in, too. Havna's got to stop falling in and leaving with his head like that. He can get cut. And he's giving a little shoulder push there and cut or maybe catch an uppercut on the way in. Like Minute to go in the first round. Havana again with that push off. He wants space. He wants distance. Yeah, he's trying to keep distance so he can get those power punches in. JD, if you push off, you're going to leave yourself up right there. He was open. Yeah, for a right hand. Yep. Yeah. And if Luca Asfili can recognize that and come real strong after that push off. That's the body shot. That's the body shot I was talking about. Yeah, bent him over. Asfili, though, bouncing right back. Big overhand right by Havana. Havana needs to go back to the body. Start back at the body and then come up to the heel. Again, he tries to push off, and Luka Lashvili doesn't much, have much of an answer for that. Does the billy goat with his head. He's got to stop doing that. I don't know, just not, he's, not, he's not throwing that jab. He's not snapping the jab. And... Well, that's why he can't keep him off of him. He's, he's got to throw the jab like that. Keep pop the jab. Not one, two, three jabs. And then throw the right hand. Well, you see him setting up the right. That one almost connected. Good round one here in Denmark. The unbeaten. Havna. To his corner. Pretty good first round for him. But that's really looks a little winded already. Round two is coming up. At ADP, we understand business today looks nothing like it did yesterday. While it's more unpredictable, its possibilities are endless. From paying your people from anywhere to supporting your talent everywhere, we use data-driven insights to design HR solutions and services to help businesses of all size work smarter today so they can have more success tomorrow. The reviews are in, and everyone loves Season Pass from TXU Energy. 50% off your energy charges all winter and summer. What's not to love? I saved $450 last year. Half off for half the year is a real crowd pleaser. Even when the weather's changing, I'm still saving. Season Pass is relief when you need it most. You can say that again. Season Pass is relief when you need it most. I didn't mean literally. 
TXU Energy. Energy for everything. Calvin got diagnosed June 10th of 2018. He has rhabdomyosarcoma, sarcoma, a soft tissue cancer. One oncologist told us if it was my son, we'd go to St. Jude. And within 24 hours, we were on a plane headed here. It was all a blur, but coming here, they're like, we are going to do everything we can. And when they say everything, they mean everything. It's hard to fathom what St. Jude has done for us. They've really given our family hope. For the donors out there, it's just amazing. I never thought we would be in this place. And it's people like you that help us and help St. Jude provide for a family like ours. St. Jude is like the gold at the end of a rainbow. And we are so grateful and thankful for everything. Robin Havna unbeaten 14-0, 12 wins by knockout, the Black Trunks taking on Ravan Lukarashvili out of the country of Georgia. Havna needs to start that jab, stop pushing off and keep him up with the jab, and then throw the right hand, like that. That right, up the right hand of Lukarashvili scored right on his nose, and now maybe Lukarashvili feels he's just going to have to Take some chances here in the continued push off by Havna. Havna has to do more than one jab. He's just throwing one jab at a time. You see, he's letting him get too close to him, and he's forced to push him. That's because of his lack of a jab. Right. Pop the jab, pop the jab, once, two. Pretty sure here, Luke Westfield realizes that he's going to have to do something substantial, or these rounds will just be checked off. For Havna, big overhand, big overhand right. Kashvili coming on though, despite that strong right by Havna, throwing some wild shots. Havna again stays within his game plan, push off jab, right hand. Havna is a smart fighter. He's going to get that right hand home. He was well. There's another right hand for Havna. He was well schooled. I'd like to see him go to the body once and then come up. And here's Havana with the jab, just a range finder. Not much of a body attack from Havana. Not much room. You see, with those elbows tucked and look at his feeling, no way to get to that body. Yeah, he's tucked in pretty good, but I think Havana can get a right hand into the body. Overhand right off the mark for Havana. Same for Lukashvili. Much behind the jab, but it sets up that right hand nicely. For Havna, there's a left hand that got in. Mm -hmm. Havna doing some damage here in round two. Havna's tough pretty good, but he's been able to get that jab back on, on target. He needs to start right now. Get the jab and get himself some run. Havna's got some pretty good defense, though, as well. He's protecting his body nicely. And especially after he hurts Luka Nashvili. Luka Nashvili gets fired up, tries to make it pay. And nice defense shown by Havna. Havna's got good defense. He's a smart fighter. He's a smart fighter. Now he's a school buck. You said it earlier. Yep, indeed. Yeah. And he's a jab. He's a jab. Two, two jabs. And then throw the Good round for Havna here. Hi, Robin Havna from Norway. Nice right hand again. Nice straight shot. And that is the end of round two. Havna just warming up. Again, this fight is scheduled for 10. Looks like he's in pretty good shape. JD, two rounds in the books. Let's get these replays before your card. The jab that time. Havna has really found a home for the jab in round two. Havna is a good, very good fighter. He throws punches on real precise. You can see this right on the button. Every time he throws it, it's right on the button. You like that, that form that sets up his punches, though? I mean, you, that's something he's got to break himself. No, he's got to get out of that habit. He's letting the guy get too close to him. That's why he's, he's not getting his punches off as good as he can. If he goes, throws a couple jabs, go to the body, come with that right hand, we can see him good enough. Got a little smile on the face of Hobnut. Yeah, 
as we head to round three. J.D., two rounds in the history books. What's your scorecard say? Shut up. Right down for Howard. 2-0 for Havna, the unbeaten fighter from Norway, 14-0, 12 knockouts. As we head to round three. Good body shot. Combo that time by Lukashvili. He's going to have to do something. Good right hand. Yeah, big right hand. Big right hand hurting. Yep, he's backpedaling. His legs are giving away. Lukashvili's hurt. He's going to the body. Havna's going to the body. Go to the body. Loving right hand on the left. Lukashvili in big trouble up against the ropes. Covering up. Claiming a low blow. Looks to the referee. That body shot hurt him. That's why he said it was low blow. Sure did. Another good body shot. Looks at the ref again. He's looking for the ref to step in. And the referee. There's some distance between the two fighters. Lukashvili thought he had stopped the fight. In confusion in the ring. He wants him to stop the fight. Yes, protect yourself at all times. And that body shot was unprotected. Kept on looking at the referee, and the referee was he couldn't make up his mind what to do. Indecisive. And he counts to ten and counts him out, even though he got up, didn't even check the fighter. But he didn't want to continue anyway, did he? Well, the fighter was looking for a way to get out. And Kai Robin Hobna remains unbeaten. Now he's complaining. Now he's complaining. Sportsmanship between the two fighters. Uh, maybe not. He's still claiming the low blow. That's a good body shot. That's what it was. He's looking at the referee right there because he took that left to the side of the body. Took another look at him. I'm not smart. He kept punching. He didn't stop. Everybody thought the referee was stopping the fight then. What was Lukashvili thinking? Maybe he was thinking this fight where he'd get an extra five minutes. Who knows? Boy, that was a tough body shot to end it, though. Yeah, that body shot hurt him. A little confusion in the squared circle there, but no confusion there. Havna, good-looking fighter, moves his record to 15 and 0. The knockout form as well, and JD, you don't speak the native tongue of Georgia, the country of Georgia, but it looks like he's getting a tongue lash. He's getting a tongue lash, and he's saying that you should have got up, you should have kept punching, but. Uh, the fighter looked and he said, not tonight. And you know, you, you, made, you made the comment he's looking for a way out after that first body shot, and the claim of a low blow was his way out. He's still telling the referee about the body shot. He says low blow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have time of one minute and 12 seconds into the round number three when our referee, George Parakei Hansen, steps in and calls a halt to the contest. Your winner by TKO, King High, Robin Hopna. Hi, Robin Hopna keeps his unbeaten record intact, including the 15-0, 13 knockouts after a dominating performance over Lukas Fielding. What a display by the Blues away from Norway. Overpowering the 24-year-old Georgian simply outmatched. Another look at how it ended in the third round. There he goes with the right uppercut. He keeps complaining to the referee, saying he got hit with a low blow. And that body shot to the, <laughs> that left hand to the body really took it all the win out of him. It sure did. There he is, euphoric in victory. He remains unbeaten. Havana from Norway, he's 15 and 0. Anyway, action coming up next. The unbeaten Ken Youngquist from right here in Denmark taking on the Spanish.